You boys are my wife's cousins. Which is good, because I want to keep this in the family. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, for which I can guarantee you will be handsomely rewarded. Well, you guys, anything you want us to do, we're going to do. Good. Johnny Spitz is out of control. He's in bed with the Spumoni family, and he's becoming a regular pain in my ass. I want you two to go to his house tonight and take care of him. Yeah, okay, boss. Yeah, we're gonna take care of him. Yeah, we'll take care of him real good. Good. How? All right, this is how I see it going down. We'll sneak into his house real quiet-like before he gets home from the strip joint. Oh, like the wind in the breeze, boss. Then we'll flip out all the lights, and then when he opens that door, and flips that switch, BAM! A five course gourmet meal cooked by yours truly. Laid out and ready to serve. And who's coming in with the hot stone massage? This guy, I am an angel with my thumbs. I, I find you knots. He has a gift. I, what I do is I need. Yeah, everyone's getting ice cream. We're gonna take care of him real good. Whoa, whoa. You understand what I'm asking you to do, right? I want you to take him out. Oh, take him out. Yeah, boss, we're gonna take him out. We're gonna take him out to, uh... Um... Finnegan's. Oh, Finnegan's is nice. The jalapeno poppers, boss. The jalapeno poppers. Don't get me started on those jalapeno poppers. No, give me a plate of jalapeno poppers. Oh! <laughs> Jimmy, Paulie, listen to what I'm saying. You can appreciate that I am speaking cryptically for fear that the feds may be listening in on our conversation. Yes? Yeah, crystically. Yeah, of course. Good. So, you understand what I mean when I say that I don't want Johnny Spitz to wake up in the morning. Oh, of course, boss. We'll slip some NyQuil into his drink. Give him some of that melatonin. I guarantee he will not wake up in the morning. He won't wake up until 1 p.m. at the earliest. Yeah, he's gonna miss lunch. No, I want you to give Johnny a pair of cement shoes. You have any shoes? I told you my sister works at Foot Locker, right? Hmm. I told you that. How do I put this? I don't ever want to hear the name Johnny Spitz again. Yeah, we'll go down to the courthouse, get his name changed. Something like Sam Spiros. Yeah, or Doug. No, that's not what I mean. I want you to do him. Yeah, boss, I want to help out and everything, but uh, I ain't gay. I'll fuck him. Paulie, what are you doing? I'll do whatever the boss tells me to do. I'll fuck a guy. No, Paulie, you don't gotta fuck the guy. Take him out to dinner. I'll give him real good compliments all night, and then I'll fuck him real good all night, boss. Whatever you want. No, let me fuck him. Hey, let me fuck this guy. Can we both fuck this guy? Yo, can we double team this guy? Shut up. Just shut up. I want you to listen to me very carefully. I'm gonna be Johnny Spitz, okay? Oh, okay. Who am I? You're you. Yeah, who am I? You're you. I don't want to be me. What do you mean you don't want to be you? I don't like being me. You're gonna be you, you're gonna be you, I'm Johnny Spitz, and you're gonna do... <sighs> oh, boss. Yeah. <laughs> they must have... Yeah, boss, it's me. Johnny Spitz sleeps with the fishes. Good night, Johnny. What the fuck?